Hey there, folks. This is Johnny again, and here we have something very, very cool from mixing. It gives you the ability to kind of bypass the automation. Uh, even though this is a kind of automation, we're going to be talking about gain envelopes. So what these things actually do and allow you to do, it allows you to actually adjust the gain within a specific event so that you don't have to open up automation and go through all of that malarkey if you've just got to do one small section. Now, as it is, um, move this over a little bit here. As it is, the automation in Studio One is super simple, but this is even simpler simpler <laughs> that's my favorite word simpler all right so let's go ahead and if you guys could before we get started please like and subscribe to this video and enable notifications to know when these videos are going to begin and also if you could and you want to support the channel directly uh, with a couple bucks here and there become a member there's uh super affordable packages for everybody there's i think it's two six and $9.99 uh, to support the channel. Even if you just do the $2, I would be extremely grateful. But if not, simply do a like and subscribe, and that way I can get some uh, credit there on YouTube. So there we go. So here we are in the classroom. I've got a little bit of a uh, drum uh, sequence here, and I'm actually using a very, very cool plugin that I love. It is called MT Power Drums. I've done uh, videos on this before in other versions of Studio One, and I don't think they're, I think they were all on my old channel that got hacked, so I'm going to have to do another one. It is free, although it's probably a good idea if you go ahead and make a little donation, even if, even if it's only five bucks, and then you can get a registration code and all of that kind of stuff. And the sounds are actually quite cool. And realistic. All right, so uh, in this particular clip, I put together an intro, a verse, a fill, a chorus, and another fill to actually loop around again. So here is the clip. And then it loops. There you go. So now for clip gain, now let's say I want the uh, verses to actually, it was a verses, a chorus. I actually want them to be, I want this to be a little bit quieter and then the fill to be normal and then the chorus to be a little bit louder in my mix. Let's see what the mixer says here. Let's see, do I have enough room? I think I have enough room. All right, so uh, for this, you want to right-click on the event, just a single event, and you're going to hit the little box here that says Gain Envelope. And when you see that, you actually have a Gain Envelope. Now, this is, a, this is different than the overall volume. Okay. This is actually an automatable section that you can adjust in different parts and pieces that and you can actually adjust the slope and all of that stuff you can see that the waveform actually changes as you make the adjustments all right so let's undo all of that bang 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 all right so now what i want this to do is i wanted to i'm going to put a a uh, little automation dot right here and I'm going to put one right here, right at the end. There we go. So now I'm going to put another one here. And I want this, the verse, to be a little quieter. So there we go. I think I can turn off the snapping to make it a little smoother. Yeah, there we go. So we can really do something nice here. So I want this to be just a little bit quieter than everything else. Let's see if I can grab the whole thing. Yes, I can. Good. Just like that. So what you do with when you do that. Oops, I don't want that little dot. You hit the hit the alt key and you can grab the line and you can bring it all the way down. So it's gonna get a little bit quieter here. Now I'm exaggerating it just for this example. And we want that like that. And let's bring that down just a bit. There we go. So we got this nice little slope here. Okay, so that's a little abrupt. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy down here. We're going to right-click on the fill. We're going to do another gain envelope. 
but here's the cool thing that we can do. Ooh, wow, that's really bright. So let's change the color of this a little bit. Let's take it to a dingier yellow. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to put an automation dot right there, but I'm just going to bring this down. Whoops, I got to put one at the end. There we go. So now it's going to actually do a little bit of a rise before it gets to the chorus. So now we have this. There we go. And now we have some dynamics. We have some, they're fake dynamics, but they're dynamics nonetheless. So the verse is going to be a little bit quieter, maybe with just an acoustic guitar or a keyboard. And then the fill is going to happen, going to slowly rise as it goes through the fill. And then we're at full volume or or the main volume uh, for the chorus. And then we can go to this. We can go to the fill that ends up at the end. And we can do the same thing. We're gonna put a dot at the beginning. I think they're called nodes. <laughs> so now we're going to actually bring this down just a little bit because when it loops, let me actually turn that on. There we go. When it loops, this is what we're going to hear. Full volume. There you go, just like that. So actually, we're going to want to bring this down just a little bit. There we go, to kind of match where that's at. we go just like that and it's a really cool way for you to actually show a little bit of expression in your tracks especially like if you did what i did you go ahead and you have a vsd a drum instrument plugin you do all of your production within the plugin itself you go ahead and make it a two track stereo drum track and you want to add a little bit more dynamics as the places in the song get louder and softer you want the drums to back off a little bit you want your main rhythm instruments to actually be a little bit more out front so there's there's so much stuff that you can manipulate with just this gain env envelope so remember it is different than the actual gain envelope here uh for the whole for the whole track so it is a little bit different and you can go ahead and manipulate all everything that you're doing here with just something like this you can even do a little bit of a fade on some tracks without having to use the fade handles and of course remember if you use the actual main gain envelope main gain envelope you can see here when you have uh when you don't have the gain envelope selected for these events you have it for the ones that don't but once you activate the gain envelope, you lose the main envelope here. Oh, no, you don't. You just use, lose the little dot. So there you go. That's actually kind of cool. I, I noticed that it went away, and I assumed that you couldn't use it anymore. But you can still grab the main. Like, let's just say you want the whole transition of everything that you're doing to be a little bit louder, a little bit quieter, but you don't want to, to lose the, uh, the, the, um, the event automation that you've actually put in using the gain envelope so you have a lot you have a lot of flexibility let me see if i can reset that there we go just like that oh and if you want to reset something it's pretty cool to be able to do you just hit the if you're on a pc it, uh if you're on a mac it's command but on a pc if you hit the control and click it should reset and you can try that too it might still be control on the mac but i'm not on the mac i'm on my pc so there you go there is a great mixing technique for anything that you have here now you don't have this available on midi tracks if i'm not mistaken should i check before i open my my big mouth uh let's see so here is the original midi tracks that i did this with let me see if i can unmute these there we go so now if i right click yeah you don't have that ability on midi tracks so you would actually have to go into the midi editor in order to do stuff like that and adjust uh and adjust the velocity and things like that all right so i hope that you guys found that helpful and i will see you all in the next video